Hello to the beginning here, back on another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 4. This episode we're going to be sending up a uh, power generation module to the space station that is in orbit of Kerbin. And it's going to be the last mission I do for the space station for a little while. We're going to start focusing on something else, maybe on Minimus or perhaps the moon, but I'm thinking probably Minimus will be uh, easier next time. So uh, here I'm just building the module for the power generation and uh, we're gonna put together some uh, some girders here and then attach the uh, gigantor solar arrays to those and also inserted some batteries on the inside of the uh, the uh, tubing there what is this thing called I don't remember yeah, anyway it's uh, it's just a hollow tube that allows you to basically uh, add it as a structural component <clears throat> and then of course it's gonna be power uh, uh, flown by a uh, probe overhead, not manned in any way. And of course, we need RCS so that the uh, the thing can be maneuvered around because it will not have any engines attached. So I wanted to go ahead and put plenty of modern propellant on there, and I also wanted to look what like it was actually designed with some sort of aesthetic uh, intention. But, you know, I'm not the best <laughs> at making things look good. Uh, but I wanted to make it at least, at least look decent, and so that's, that's what I'm trying to do here. So, got the docking ports and uh, everything all lined up. I had a little trouble getting everything lined up exactly like I wanted, but it, it ended up looking okay. And so, we've got the module itself mostly finished here, and then we're going to start building on to the um, to the actual rocket portion of the. Uh, module here and I also wanted to add just a little bit of a uh, escape pod on here so that the Kerbals who are currently working on the station if they wanted to come home or if they needed to come home for some reason they wouldn't have to wait on a rescue mission from or a, uh, no, I shouldn't say rescue they shouldn't wait on a retrieval from the um, from the uh, from Kerbin in order to uh, to get rescued, they, they would have means of, of their own to, uh, to do that. And I had a little trouble getting inserting that uh, ratchet wheel inside of the, the module there. It, uh, it did not want to participate very, very well, <laughs> so had a little bit of trouble with that. And then, uh, of course, the, uh, the escape module has its own reaction wheel. And then uh, we also had to make sure we had radio contact with the module so that uh, it would uh, behave correctly. But I ended up having to uh, seat the reaction wheel and the batteries together so that the, uh, the thing would behave properly. But in the end, it all turned out okay. We have a nice fairing on board to, uh, to enclose all of it. And then, of course, we have the rocketry to deliver it from orbit to the station and then finally we have the actual uh, building of the uh, lower stages of the rocket eventually once I, once I get all this arranged I like it but uh, pretty simplistic rocket not much to it uh, I just wanted to make sure I had enough Delta V to get us up to where we needed to go and uh, so just put a few uh, kickbacks on there and then, uh, for the most part, it's done. I mean, there's, there's not much else to do on the rocket other than adding all the uh, auto struts and a little bit of aerodynamic cones on the tops, those bad boys, and then uh, we should be ready to begin our flight and uh, we'll be in good shape. I did have to lower them down just a little bit so that the nose cones didn't come in contact with the fairing. But uh, after I got it all put together here, I was a little bit leery of having that little Delta V. So I decided to add just a little bit more uh, fuel to the, uh, to the upper stage there. That way we could uh, just have a little bit of extra leeway uh, whenever we're trying to get into orbit uh, with our station. And so uh, there, there we go. The rocket is complete and we are now ready 
after checking my staging to do our launch. Launch is pretty simplistic, uh, you know, pretty typical of all of my other launches. Get up to speed, get up into orbit, and then, um, you know, <laughs> make your rendezvous. So we dropped our solid rocket boosters and our lower stage almost exactly the same time, so that, time, that turned out pretty well. And then I used the upper stage to finalize our orbit. And we still have plenty of Delta V left, so nothing to worry about really there. I went ahead and dropped the ferry. That way we lost a little bit of that extra weight. And then uh, we can use our uh, upper uh, upper stage to finalize our orbit of Kerbin. And so we're just drifting up to the Apoapsis here to do our final burn. And then we will do our rendezvous with the station and <clears throat> get into position to connect this uh, new module to the uh, the Kerbal Space Station. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Wow. So here we are. I did the rendezvous off camera, and here we're just getting ready to do our burn to kill our relative target speed, and then we should be able to fly towards the target and get in there and uh, make our docking maneuver, which really wasn't too bad compared with some of the other docking maneuvers I've had the last few episodes. This actually went pretty, pretty well, so. I was pretty satisfied with the results of this, this little mission. It, it went, uh, pretty smoothly, and so uh, it ended up being kind of a short episode, actually, and uh, you'll see that, I guess you'll already see that it's kind of a short episode, but there really wasn't much to it, and I didn't really want to do a lot uh, of other things to uh, to lengthen the episode, so I just left it as it is. So we're here now in um, a close rendezvous with the station, about 40 meters away. I'm going to go ahead and detach the lower stage. I mean the upper stage of the rocket from the module here, so we're just going to use our RCS to push away from that and gently, gently, gently maneuver towards the station. Um, I, I had a little trouble orienting myself at first, and so I, I was a little worried that I was going to knock into the, uh, the lower stage rocket there, but uh, in the end it, it all turned out okay. But I do need to switch over to the station and get it oriented so that it is uh, facing the, um, the incoming power module. So we have the cupola module with the docking port on it, and I just wanted to aim it towards the power station so I didn't have to do a lot of maneuvering with the power station itself. We should, should be able to line them up pretty easily. Just aim it down, and then aim this one up, and then we should be able to do a, uh, do a nice little connection there so really like I said it turned out to be pretty smooth and uh, so here I am here just maneuvering the the power module into position being very careful not to not to bump into that rocket You're very close with the Gigantor <laughs> um, solar array there but in the end it, it turned out okay so we're, we're just drifting in just drifting past the rocket there Pushing up to give the station a little kiss. I'd like to just give it a gentle, gentle embrace here. I went in and deployed the solar rays because it looked cool, and um, it was probably better to leave those uh, retracted until you get connected. But uh, I wanted to, to look dramatic, so I went in and deployed them as we were doing the connection. I had a, it was a little bit not lined up, so if, if I want to scroll around to the other side, you can see that there's a little bit of a gap there. I went ahead and just angled just a little bit, and boom, the station is now complete for now. Intact uh, with a uh, small escape pod, so that, that's good. Um, so the Kerbals are just using the uh, the force of the connection there was making them do a little bit of drift there, so I went ahead and killed that that motion. And now we've got Jabba Blanche again now, and he's going to do a little something about that uh, that rocket that we have floating out there in space. He's just checking the inventory to see what we got. Nothing in there. But I believe in the other inventory, 
Uh, we have some good stuff. I'm trying to put some girders in there just to see if they were available uh, to be carried. I couldn't remember if they were too big to be carried or not, but they, they are too big to be carried. So he's going to go ahead and drop on down to the uh, to the portable um, inventory system down there. And he's going to grab a little something special that uh, I wasn't sure how it worked. So it was I was kind of just flying by the seat of my pants like I always do. <laughs> and, uh, and so he's going to move on down there and he's going to pick up some... I can't remember if it's in the little one or the big one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check those inventories here. It's, like it's in the big one there. So he's going to grab those explosives and put his EVA container back in there. And we're going to try to use those explosives to uh, get rid of that floating um, stage, rocket stage there. So he's going to float on over there with the explosives. I wasn't sure if they were actually functional explosives or if it's just another prop like the taco. But uh, come to find out, they are functional explosives. So uh, that was kind of a neat, uh, neat addition to that, and I enjoyed uh, the fact that they were actually usable. So I went ahead and uh, tried to get them attached, and I failed in the first attempt, like I so often do. But uh, just trying to get it into position and then keep him from floating away too far. Here we go, just had to get him a little closer so that he was close enough. And then plant the explosives and get them attached. Bink! Got them attached. And you just right click on it and you can arm the, uh, the uh, timer on this thing. So we have uh, a timer and a blast radius. So I wanted the radius to be high enough so that it would blow up the uh, rocket, but at the same time low enough that it didn't affect my, uh, my station. But I think 10 meters is the, uh, is the, the highest you can use for that. So I went ahead and set it for 20 seconds, quick saved it, <laughs> and activated it. And it says you have 20 seconds to escape. And so I just uh, let him blast away there and get away from the explosion and didn't want him to look because in this case, you know, light, flare, whatever, didn't want to hurt his eyes. But... Boom! Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. There was one little tiny piece left, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah. Whatever. It was still cool. It was still really cool. So, he was pretty happy about that. He was, he was pretty excited that he was able to blow something up. I mean, who doesn't like blowing things up? So here he is back at the station and getting ready to get back on board. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. through